Someone on YouTube asked how you could use EPMV to build a carbon nanotube, for example, or other structures like it. To begin with, you need to find a file that our Embedded Python Molecular Viewer can read, and you can start by going to epmv.scripts.edu In order to find out what EPMV is and how to use it, there are instruction tutorials, um, overviews, um, descriptions of how to install and use it. To begin, let's search for nanotube.pdb. This is an unusual structure. It wouldn't be located in the protein database, but there are a number of these constructed and built out there. And here's one at firstyear.chem.usyd.edu in Australia. Download that. Go. In this case, I'm working in Cinema 4D. I'll start a fresh scene and open EPMV. I'll browse to that nanotube PDB file that I just downloaded click open and I'll just turn atoms on so we can zoom in on it and we see here we've got the nanotube already constructed and we can visualize it using any of the standard representations uh, let me just throw a brighter texture on it so you can see a little bit better little white texture on the sticks and I'll just throw this tyrosine texture onto the spheres. I know that we're looking at carbons right now so I can just put it on this structure. Okay. And because you're working inside of whatever your favorite software packages, Blender, Maya, Cinema 4D, etc., you can then use the tools available to you to expand that into a longer tube from this from this raw data. Um, so let's this particular file is not completely straight, and now that it needs to go to 1.5, and I'll use MoGraph in Cinema 4D to expand it. using this cloner object and I know that if I highlight the object it's 20.8 units tall so if I set my cloner we'll just make two of them for starters to 20.8 should be minus 1.5 okay it's actually 20.635 tall these are some settings I explored a little bit earlier so if you notice it looks okay in the front view but if we come to the side view we're actually seeing an optical illusion here where molecules actually offset by uh, half of one of these hexagon patterns. So we need to figure out what the math would be. 
Let's see, we see that's 20.635 tall, and if I turn off the cloner, I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 half units tall. Let's go back to our cloner. Find out what our exact height is. Set that for the y. Repeat. Divide that by. Subtract that from same value. Divided by 17 units. That should give us a perfect half offset. Let's see if we turn off one of our iterations. Watch that area. Looking right here, you can see that this matches up nicely to the degree that we can't see a difference. Okay. So using that, you can obviously extend it by increasing the count to as high a number as you want. And using the Embedded Python Molecular Viewer, you can change um, any feature that you want. So we can make really thin wires and thick cages. and I did a previous version here where I then took the cloner and uh, wrapped it using the spline wrap tool onto a spline that becomes fully adjustable. Of course you don't want this to be um, to have very much of a bend at all uh, because these nanotubes are stiff. You're distorting the bond lengths on the inside and outside of these curves, so they should be relatively straight unless you're um, just bending them gently over great distances. Um, but for editorial purposes, this certainly gets the job done. And I hope that helps. And again, visit epmv.scriptsedu to get started. Thank you.